Another year of intense volleyball action gets underway as the Philippine Superliga formally rolls out its new season starting next month. Based on its official calendar of events for 2019, the biggest and most prestigious club league in the country is set to start the year with a bang as it stages the traditional fans' day and some out-of-town activities such as exhibition matches and volleyball clinics between January 19-30. to Then, it's going to be game time as the PSL opens the Grand Prix on February 9, where two foreign players will fly in to power the eight competing teams in their quest for pride and glory. The league will take a breather to give way for the country's participation in the Asian Women's Club Championship in China from April. 2028 followed by the Beach Volleyball Challenge Cup 2019 from May 23 to 26 to wrap up the first half of the year. This calendar of events reflects our commitment of coming up with high-level women's volleyball action, said PSL chairman Philip Elajuco. The All Filipino Conference, which was ruled by powerhouse Petron recently, will run from June 15 to August 24 followed by the third Asian Women's U23 Volleyball Championship in Vietnam from July 13 to 21. Another international event, the 20th Asian Senior Women's Volleyball Championship, will take center stage from August 31 to September. Eight in South Korea before the league unveils the Invitational Conference from October 5 to November 16. The Invitational Conference promises to be another slam-bang affair as it features not just the eight competing teams but also the regional, collegiate, and other club teams in the country. The league will take another break from November 30 to December 10 as the national squad compete in the 30th Southeast Asian Games before staging another beach volleyball event in December to formally close out the season. I believe our 2019 season will be as action-packed and as intense as the previous years. We're looking forward to another successful season with the help of the players, clubs, sponsors, our broadcast partner, the National Federation, and, of course, the fans, Juco closed.